Hi. If you find this content useful, please support my channel on Patreon. Become a member of the family and get yourself the offer to rewards. You find the link in the description. As the last beta brought us a new plugin, I thought it would be a good moment to show how I modify my own database. As it is already customized, I always disable the plugin database creation in the setup. Please note that if you're going this way, the new plugin is not present in the installed list, so you have to scan for it before. I do the scanning again to get rid of the yellow highlighting. Here it is and I drop it into the mixer. Choose the folder where you want to have it in your database and add it to it. Here is the entry, which shows the name of the plugin when you hover over it. But as you can see with the other entries here, I like to have the name always visible. And these are the steps I do. I navigate into the plugin database in my user library and search for the PNG file of the plugin. This is the thumbnail FL Studio has created as I added it to the database. Note that this file is hidden. So you have to make sure that your file browser shows hidden files. To be able to work in a graphic program with the file, I unhide it with right click, properties, uncheck hidden and confirm. I use GIMP here, a free advanced graphic editing program. I put the link in the description. I navigate again to my database and open the PNG file. At the top, you can see the size of the image. For such horizontal images, I always use a width of 200 pixels. Means this image is too small and upscaling looks bad. So I go back to FL Studio and make a screenshot with the plugin open. Back in GIMP, I paste this screenshot as a new layer, make everything visible and cut out just the plugin's GUI which I insert as a new layer again. I delete all layers I do not need anymore and reduce the canvas to my remaining one. It has a size of 460 pixels horizontally, so I scale it down to my wish 200 by keeping the ratio intact. For the whole image, I always use a vertical size of 150 so I changed the canvas size just vertically to this value. Now I have enough space to invert the name I want to see when I open the plugin picker. White color, size of 30 and I center the text. I make some changes to my liking and override the original file. And here it is my new image with the name included. Please don't forget to hide the image again in your file browser, as otherwise you would have a double entry in the browser of FL Studio. And that's it for including the name to the thumbnails permanently. Just an idea for those of you who are interested in. See you soon and thank you for watching.